Hey everyone, uh, this is Danny and Carter. Uh, we are doing some old school streaming tonight. Um, it's Friday night. Pretty cool guys over here. Yeah, um, the, the, the best the best way to spend a Friday, obviously, um, drinking it coffee. MTG Wholesome with uh, <laughs> some cortados we made here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're playing with Swedish BNR. Uh, particularly uh, one of our decks playing multiple recalls. I don't know, mine is. What about yours? I have only found room for one recall in my deck. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's possible. I think I think what recall does is it combines especially well with the card regrowth and the card time walk. So when you add howling minds to the mix, I think there's I think ultimately like combo in old school there's there's like a there's like a shell um which is that stuff. It's trying to recur it's trying to recur time walk effects with a howling mind in play and then you usually win with a fireball and a mirror universe and everything like in between that is kind of the the nuance. Yeah, I think so. Uh what what makes this testing a little ridiculous is we're both playing Howling Mind decks. <laughs> and neither of us want to play Howling Mind into the other person's. Like, neither of us wants to be the person to tap out and, and play it. <laughs> yeah, this feels a lot like uh, vintage back in the days of accumulated knowledge, where whoever plays accumulated knowledge first generally loses the game. <laughs> right, right. So, um, and that's probably what's going to happen here with Howling Minds. Uh, mm -hmm. We're also going to do a deck tech and talk about this. Uh, these decks are... Uh, poorly tested. We had one other <laughs> session with this. I made two changes. I uh, pulled out Mind Twist, so clearly lots of good decisions happening here. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we're just going to start running some games, and uh, hopefully you all enjoy this. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll probably end up hashing out a little bit some of the decisions and, and changes after a, after a couple rounds through the, through the right here. You comfortable over there? I do. I feel. I feel good. I feel like I'm. Uh, I feel like I have a height advantage. Actually, you definitely over have a height you, advantage, which is uh, which is gonna count for a whole bunch. <laughs> Intimidation is the most important thing in Magic. Oh, of course, well, and, and especially if you keep your cards like a little bit lower down, and I can kind of like peek onto your hand and. Oh, you should just blatantly that. cheat. I mean, I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be intimidated and scared of you, anyways. <laughs> oh boy, you think I'm gonna stop you? Yeah, so um, Danny is playing a yeah, Twiddle Vault deck, and I am playing an Atog deck. Um, but my Atog deck is a little bit different than the, you know, Kindergarten, Eight Lightning Bolts, and Anks of Mishra, and Black Vices, which I think is pretty unacceptable. Yeah, you're playing some high-quality Arabian Nights rares. Well, you know. I, uh, <laughs> you can go first, or do you want me to go first? Uh, you know what? Why don't you go first, because I'm pretty sure I have library. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a really uh, classic, uh, super good Twiddle Vault hand. Uh, we got zero lands, a Felwar Stone, and, and two Mana Vaults, um, and two Sylvan Libraries. So uh, lots of good things going on we'll send, there. We'll send this one back. I'm uh, actually, yeah, I can I can kind of hold my hand up to the camera so you guys can take a look. I'm not sure exactly. I'll just put it over here. Just kind of put it over here. Yeah, this is this is what I'm working with. What's that altar you got there? With the altar, and this is a uh, done by Dominic Dodderer, the great the, the great altarist. Oh, I could be playing that pink shirt mind twist I got from him, but I'm not playing mind twist. <laughs> and and even when you play mind twist, you don't play with that one. I'm gonna. Oh, you are you keeping that hand? Oh yeah, I'm keeping this. Oh, why did why'd you fucking show me that hand? Okay, oh, that's um, fine. I, you know I just remember you got a counter spell. You know a counter spell Ruby. Okay, so there's six cards. I'm sure they're really good. Um, no, that's that's interesting. Well, look, well, you show your hand to the camera, or just <laughs> get, get the cheat value going. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they're right. They're and right, we're bottoming right that uh, transmute artifact. And I'm up first, right? Yes, you are. Go. <laughs> On a six-card mulligan. We should we should also mention that there are zero copies of Strip Mind between the both of us. <laughs> uh, we're all about the American rules here. Yes, we are. We're all about we're all about respecting our, our betters. Relic barrier. Oh, that's Go ahead. really good against mm -hmm. me. 
I will draw a card. You have four cards in hand? I do. I have no, no, no. I have five. Mm -hmm. I have five. I was on the draw. I'm thinking. I kept. So Danny's up to six. I'm hoping that the relic barrier will buy me some time because it's actually funny. The last time we were we were testing and playing, we both kind of commented that library was um, sort of bad. I should have done this on the first turn. Now thinking about this, but I didn't expect um, relic barrier making my. <laughs> Three Howling Mind deck, really good. Um, well, Time Twister with one colors floating. Uh, right. It would have been clearly better, obviously, activating Library this turn. Yeah. Um, but I suppose to finish my thought, like our decks are trying to uh, do uh, their thing so quickly that um, using Library to accumulate advantage over several turns actually ended up being it too lost slow. Games, yeah. Yeah. Where where you kept library hands that weren't extremely explosive because you're just kind of used to keeping those kinds of hands, and you decided you ended up being uh, being too slow. This is like the only uh, interaction my deck has. <laughs> really. so. Okay, this post time twister. I got a close floating. I would have a library activation if I were good at magic, but I'm not. I show my new hand to the camera. Thank the you. synergy between these two cards is uh, really, really cool. <laughs> um, I'm thinking. Sure. So this means Danny's got some more Moxen to play. Maybe the Blotus. Using the mana floating to Fower. That actually gives him a lot of relevant mana. Ancestral just... targeting me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's really good. <laughs> Might as well get the good stuff. Oh god, this hand is so putridly bad right now. You have no <laughs> idea. Uh... Um... I'll say pass. Okay, I'm going to untap and take my second turn. Draw. So at this point, we have the option to deploy a threat or to crimp Danny on his mana. Uh, we know that usually with Twiddle Vault, you need uh, blue, blue, blue in order to go off. Because unless you draw it naturally, you find your you find your time vault with transmute and then take a take a twiddle in the very same turn. So, um, I'm going to put a wretched looking 5th edition <laughs> manifold into play. Lots of good stuff right there. <laughs> I will go ahead and play an Icy Manipulator. Oh, that feels great. And then I will pass. Okay, um, I'm going to reveal my hand. Carter, don't look at this because right. you'll see how good it, how good it is. So, uh, uh, look. You can see all these really uh, normally pretty good cards, um, but uh, fortunately we've got library, so that's something. Mm -hmm. um, which is why we kept seven in hand because we were scared of something like icy manipulator. So he can't tap me out during my upkeep. Um, okay, untap. Yes. Yeah, so it's your it's your upkeep. Relic bear is going to hit your foul word. Um. Thinking if we want to, I will draw with library right now. All right. In response to that, any responses with any other responses? I have not. Uh, I've not activated ICS. Okay, so, so you're letting stack. this happen. That's yeah. That's gonna happen. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, that. so Felwar tap on the stack. Um, that happens. All right. And now this is gonna tap down. That sure. Now we get to go to your draw step. So we draw this. We do this awesome time walk. Um, Ooh, that which is, is great. Really so we're just drawing good. like all the power, but it's really not good enough. Uh, so we'll draw for turn. That's very impressive. Very impressive. Um, so we'll play land for turn. Um, thinking. Time right. walk. So Dan is going to get to time walk. He's going to get to library again, and he will have the requisite three blue. It's true. In order um, to go off here. 
So we have a pretty broken hand here um, of artifact mana sources and chaos orb and a howling mine that we could have played, but I don't think it's right given the, the board state, as we can't chaos orb both things. Um, yeah, so we'll draw for turn. And we just do recall because we're really good at magic. Um, <laughs> well, he does have three of the deck. Take note, people. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by playing... Play Lotus. And then activate. Draw. So Danny has wow, we just keep off. on drawing the good stuff. <laughs> uh, we drew uh, Soul Ring. I mean, this is pretty broken. So you're going to be able to recall for three, right? Yeah, we're going to try to get them all. And um, you can get all of them. You can play Lotus and get Lotus back and play Soul Ring Time Walk. Yeah, so the question is, what don't we want? Um, Chaos Orb seems like something we do want, but let's wow, just think about that's this. That's really good. One. I'm just thinking about what we don't want. That's pretty funny with an extra turn here. Um but not necessary. And... I wonder if there's a way, if I play, if I keep my cards like toward the top here, is the glare a little bit less? It seems like there's like a sweet spot. I there. think that's what we want to get rid of, which is actually pretty hilarious. Um, or do I keep the land? Um, I think we did not play land this turn, we played Lotus. Um, so I think the way we do this is, let's see. So I need to recall and time walk in the course of one turn. It's seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven. And you can get the Lotus back, which nets you one mana? Nine. Um, so that's, that's our nine mana if we do it like that. So sure, we'll play the Soul Ring. Mm-hmm. We'll recall for three. Mm-hmm. Pitching. How greedy do we want to be? Do we want to keep this Chaos Orb, or do we want to get a Howling Mind this turn, draw an extra card? I think we want the Chaos Orb, honestly. So we'll pitch those three and get back the three pieces of blue power. We got Dennis. two mana available, so we're going to play this Mox so that we can still Time Walk. We will Ancestral Me before the Time Walk happens. We will then time walk. All I drew were insane broken cards like Demonic Tutor. Uh, but he doesn't have Mind Twist. But we don't have Mind Twist, so we can't take his whole hand away. Um, so we're going to go to my next turn. Um, I'm going to go to 18 after I don't untap this Mana Vault. Yeah, not having Mind Twist is interesting, but we do have Time Twister, which is kind of funny. Um, so I know you having you getting time twister back m makes me wish I had deployed a, a threat instead of trying to disrupt your mana. So demonic tutor can't get lotus. Time you, walk is very. This is really boring to watch because I'm just thinking about these dumb combo turns. Um, probably regrowth is the card to get. I have gotten to take two turns. Yeah, we probably regrowth time walk is probably the, the way to go here. I'm, this is, I'm not playing this like a science because I'm not good at man, magic. Okay, floating a colorless. Do you get regrowth or recall? You can get the second copy of recall. I don't want to get rid of my cards because, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the only bad card. I, I guess I have these two, so I can I can dump two cards. But you won't be able to. I can dump. Walk. I guess you're right. I can dump two cards and lose the chaos or but I can just regrowth. I can just regrowth time walk, deploy chaos or deploy Sylvan, time twister, and then get a time walk turn. You know, seems pretty solid. Yeah, time walk, time walk plus time twister sounds good, especially yeah, so with um, a we'll combo regrow. piece play. Uh, we got one color floating. We'll play it uh, and name time walk. Grab the time walk back. 
Gotta love watching combo go off. It's real exciting magic. Um, we can draw an extra card here, although I don't think we care. I think I misguessed how much mana I have. I think that was actually the wrong play. Yeah, you're not going to be able to twist her and walk and play your two drops. But you can twist her and walk right now. Well, Which I, shuffles I, I, think, I think we, sh I think we, uh, we trade it by a turn. So I think what we do here is this. One, two, Sylvan. Time walk. So we'll untap everything other than this Mana Vault, which is a massive pile of broken. Which puts you to 17 at your draw step. 17 life at draw step, so we'll look at the top three. I'm just showing this all off because it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, okay. cool, we got a balance. So like pretty much everything is totally useless here, but we can trade a blue mana to untap Soul Ring or Mana Vault, which isn't so bad. Um, we definitely don't want either of these other two cards. So we're going to take this twiddle. Um, because we only play one black card in the deck and we got Mox Jet, we're going to use this blue off this to untap Mana Vault. Chaos Orb, floating a colorless, three colorless. The only red card in the deck is a Fireball, and we've got red off this Spell War, so we are going to utilize this because green is better because of mostly Regrowth being the best card to hit, which is in the graveyard right now, but it's coming right back. So now we're going to Time Twister Floating and Colorless. Gotcha. And let's not forget we've got a Library Activation. This probably wasn't right. I probably could have pitched two cards to uh, Recall, being Chaos Orb and the Power Sink. And gotten to Time Walk an additional turn? Uh, we could have, well, you can't get Time Walk back twice at the same time, so you yes. can only Time Walk once. That's true. But we could have gotten, um, we could have gotten Lotus back if we really wanted to, although it's not great. We could have gotten Ancestral back. Um, what we're hoping for here is to hit another way to get Time Walk. Our opponent's tapped out. They're clearly playing counter spells because we see Volcanic Island. Uh, the good thing is uh, there's a lot of good cards left to draw here. You're good. You are too. Perfect. Cool. So let's see what this... This 7 could also be horrific because this deck is really good at drawing bad hands. It's true. <laughs> My seven is pretty good. And we drew an unkeepable seven um, that I might even throw back if I were starting this game. Um, we're going to draw another card with library. And that's also not great. Um, so at this point, we're pretty unhappy with life. <laughs> uh, not, life not has been unkind to us. Life has been unkind to us. Uh, And so now we're debating how to best not lose the game. Um, the cool thing is we can go back up to uh, Sylvan hand size by dropping cards, or sorry, uh, library hand size with Sylvan and not dropping cards next turn. So we don't care about, we don't care so much about how many cards we drop. We probably don't want to drop cards like Mana Vaults because he's just going to tap them. Or Howling Mines, which I got more than one of. Play land. We'll play a Felwar. Thinking. I'm decently pleased about my new hand. Play Black Lotus. You got it. And we will 
activate Chaos Orb on this guy. Oh, that was really boring. I'm sorry, guys. I got a terrible hand. Boom. Go. All right, we uh, we actually get to untap. This is <laughs> this is incredible. And this is why Twiddle Ball <laughs> is not the best deck in the format. So I'm gonna take a damage when I draw. I'm gonna 19. Um, I know Danny plays, um, what's it called? Power Sync as his counterspell of choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap Black Lotus. You got it. Uh, then I'm going to deploy all the fast mana that I drew. Well, that's really, really good. Danny doesn't seem to have a spell blast for any of those, though I didn't give him much time. Are you responding to any No spell blast. All right. Um, I will deploy my Mishra's. And I will go ahead and cast Time Walk. I will Mana Drain your Time Walk. That was the card that we were a little concerned with. There was the one hard counter in the deck. I mean, you got to go for it, right? Um, so what I'm going to do right now then is I have an opportunity to deploy either one of these. Well, you had more live cards. I'm just sitting here with a bunch of mana vaults. I guess I'll break back Lotus to draw five cards. And your brain guys are yep. Okay, so we're in a decent position if we get to untap. Um, and I'll pass. Okay, so I'm at seventeen. I have the option of untapping this this turn. I'm going to get two drain mana, so it's possible that I want to untap this, but I don't think the life matters all that much. I think I'm going to lose to other causes more likely. So I will go to 16 and look at my top three, and look at that. That's a pretty fun three. Um, well, you definitely want to stack it so that you wheel into your ancestral. Probably want to wheel into both of those cards. I would say so. So, we're going to look at this hand. Um, we probably want that Twiddle, assuming that we get the actual card we want. So, yeah, we're going to be Optimus and keep the Twiddle down there. We're going to take only one card, being the wheel, which is mm -hmm. a very good draw. Okay, we got two mana floating. Uh, we do have double Howling Mine, which is... Possibly good, but I think our opponent's going to kill us because they just... You, you're at a full hand, right? I have seven, yes. Yeah, so this is not what we want. So we're going to do that. we got one mana floating. And then we're going to go like... That. And wheel. And what did we get? I have to drop... Uh, this, is, this card was going to be really good for me because it would allow me to protect myself against your... Time Vault. This next one is... Okay, so we drew a funny seven. Uh, we got a colorless floating here. Um, we will draw with library. Now we've got eight. Colorless floating. Um, we'll play a Fell Ward. Um, hmm. Actually, rewind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we'll balls it with the ancestral. We'll ancestral right now and go to a million cards with the one color that's floating. Hopefully, do something better than play a fell war. One, two, three. It's not the worst. We got a transmute artifact, and our opponent's tapped out. So. Um, we got a colorless floating. Blue. Hmm. Black colorless. Flower stone. Tap them both. Transmute this away. Boom. And we're going to get time vault. So this is the deck doing what it wants to do. Let's 
So if you play this right, your opponent gets no more turns. I probably won't play it right. Uh, we have eight cards in hand, which is a pretty good number for us right now. Um, because we are going to be able to take another turn. Um, so we're going to start by going... Tap that. Twiddle. Untap time vault. Gotcha. So Danny needs a Howling Mine in order to really start going off. Fortunately, I just discarded two of the three in the deck. This deck often plays four. Um, but we have two more Twiddles, a Brain Geyser, and a Fireball in hand, so we really hope that we can actually get there. Uh, yeah, this is probably the point where you want to start taking damage off your Sylvan so that you can find a Fireball in your universe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to... Uh, 15, because we're at 16 here. Play that. Play that. What's your life total? I've just taken one damage from my mana vault, so I'm at 19. Well, cool. Well, we've got two mana vaults in play right now. Keep that in mind. And a shit ton of mana and Black Lotus, so it's entirely possible we could just kill him like that. Um, so we'll take another turn now. Yeah, that's right. So we get a full-on untap. Could you just draw a fireball? I, I have it already, but I, I don't know if I have enough to actually kill you. Uh, let's see. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I just need a single mana source here. Oh, no. You're at 19. I'm at 19, yes. Oh. oh. Boom. This is a funny card. <laughs> I was hoping to manage that you do your up. Let me count this up again. So, uh, can't be for red. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Plus nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yep! Boom! Fireball! Didn't even need the mirror universe, just amassed that many mana sources and killed me. I got to take three turns this game. Um, so I totally misplayed that game. Um, there's no excuse for that. And you had to watch it. This card is sort of fun. The royal you. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> How long was that fucking game? It was 27 minutes of me taking, what, three turns? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's really funny. That's wretched, wow. That is absolutely wretched.